Good evening, everyone. Today is the 3rd of February, 2024. Well, I've entitled this video tonight The Most Important Truth in the Whole World. There are many things that are true. You know, I believe the earth was created in six days. I believe that is true. I believe that um, up is up and down is down. <laughs> I believe that black is black and white is white. I believe that water runs downhill. I believe that there's a time to live and a time to die. But one of the most important truths, well, the most important truth in the whole Bible is what Jesus Christ said himself about himself in John 14 6 Jesus saith unto him I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the Father but by me That's the most important truth that's ever been stated and the most important person stated it. It's the most important truth in the whole world. The fact that Jesus am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Now, the only way we can believe that, the only way we can embrace that, the only way we can confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, is if we've been given the faith of Christ. We can't drum up the faith to believe that of ourselves. It's an impossibility. Remember the account of Thomas. He said, I will not believe unless I see the hands in his side and see the hands in his feet. I mean, the hands in his, the nail prints in his hands and his feet and the print of the, or the uh, scar from the stores. The, the spear that pierced his side. And Christ showed up and showed him those things and he said my Lord and my God and Christ said blessed are you Thomas that you've seen and believed but blessed are those that have not seen and believed if you believe that Jesus Christ is truly the Son of God and you believe all of the account in the Bible regarding his death, his burial, and his resurrection. And if you believe what he proclaimed, that he was the way and the truth and the life, if you believe these things, having not seen him in physical form, according to Christ himself, you're blessed. You're blessed. Now, there's a passage in the Old Testament that confirms what we're talking about as it relates to what Christ said about himself. And we see in the 53rd chapter of Isaiah, it says, He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, and by his stripes we are healed. 
All we like sheep have gone astray. We've turned every one to his own way, but the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Well, again, if you believe the 53rd chapter of Isaiah, you're blessed. You're blessed. So the most important truth in the whole Bible and the most important truth in the whole world is what Christ proclaimed about himself. I am the way the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There's no other way to be reconciled to God but then through His Son, Jesus Christ. There's no other way to be reconciled to God. There's no other mediator between God and man but the man Christ Jesus. Now, you know, what does that mean? Well, Christ is not only our advocate, he's our great high priest. He's the one that gave himself for our sins. And in 1 Timothy 2.5 we read, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. There is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Hebrews 9.15 says, and for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament that by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament they which are called might receive the promise of eternal redemption. Acts 4.12 says neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Well, again, the most important truth ever revealed um, to man is the truth that was revealed by Jesus Christ himself. That I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. May the good Lord be with you today is my prayer. God bless.